So this is a cell phone video because it is raining outside. I couldn't bring my camera out. But I went into town this afternoon and as I was coming back, I noticed, uh, I stopped up at the fence up at the top of our property on the road. And I was looking at Helen and I feel like her udder is different from this morning. It's definitely different from yesterday. I took a photo yesterday. She's filled out more. Now I need to get a good look at her, her pin pins and like check where her like ligaments are. She doesn't have any discharge. I don't think she's like in labor or anything, but there's definitely a marked difference. So we're going to go ahead and get this stall finished off the gates hung and put her in here overnight. Cause it's raining. It's supposed to get pretty cold tonight, maybe freeze a little bit and ice overnight. And so I just don't want her out in the field um, if she does end up going into labor and having the calf in the field while it's icing, that could obviously re be really bad. What do you think, Maya? It's kind of cold. It is kind of cold. Nice stall. So Maya just got this cleaned out and we have some gates we're gonna hang here and then put straw down in this double stall and we'll put Helen in it. She's probably not gonna think much of that. She does not like really being contained. But it's just, to me, the risk is just not worth it. Yeah. I don't think she can do any damage to this. Uh, no, I don't think she'll do any damage to this or to herself. I mean, that's kind of the point of this. I have a big old pot of beans on the stove that I was going to make some rice and sausage with. But we'll probably just eat a little bit later. Hey Maya, I'm gonna go inside and make that rice. Okay. Uh, to and sausage to go with those beans. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll do I'm that. You gonna stay out here, with Dad? Okay, I'll be back. Yep. All right. I just came back up to the barn. It's very dark in here. We're working by flashlight here. But I wanted to show you guys Maya's progress. And, and Ben's progress. So both the gates are hung and I just asked Maya because I noticed that he, I've noticed this before that he always turns the top Hinge. hinges down, whereas the bottom one is up. And I said, wouldn't it be more beneficial for them both to point up? And then you could just easily stick the gate in there and you wouldn't have to deal with all of these tightening clamps and everything. So show me over here why it is that you turn it down. <clears throat> Well, for this application, which would be a barn application, if Helen was to put her head in here, she just took the gate off the hinge. Yep. Another application is, let's say this is your front property, I can easily just steal your gate and leave so with it. So, by turning it down... You would have to have tools to undo it and get it loose. Very nice. You are now, so smart. This one is actually turned up because I was a little bit off on my spacing and I don't have the resolve to back this screw out and put it back in higher so I can turn it down. So for tonight, it's staying up. Okay. So I tell you can go. Well, she probably she won't. She probably won't. Because she go. <laughs> we'll give her hay in here and well, she'll I've be happy. Well, I've got an extra piece of chain. So what I'm going to do is just chain through this around the post. To make sure. And so if she does knock it off, she won't be able to push it out of the hole. Okay. And that side will be chained also. We just came up on a whole herd of deer yeah. by our storage board. And so we're One here. jumped over the fence. I see two. Yeah. I knew they'd be here. Yeah. I've been watching. Well, I don't have any trees planted over here yet for them to feast on. Nope. We're going to have to put electric wire around the any. I figured that yeah. too. That's okay. They're pretty to see. Fast. They're fast. Yeah. I'm gonna do three bales. Okay. That should be enough. Great. And a bale of straw too, or a hay too.
how we signal for the cows to come up every night. You gonna open the gate? Here's the barn. This light is like intense. <laughs> There's the epic tree. You got it, Ben? Oh, um, mom did that last thing, didn't she? Oh, here, I'll get it. Here, you hold the light. Good straw bale moving. Dad's going to get the, the water hose so we can get her some water. Straw coming in. Good job. All right, let's get it cut. All right. <clears throat> Why don't you? Why don't I have it? Yeah. Because I was in town today. I don't have a. I, my pocket head is lost. I have my Leatherman. The Leatherman. Oh. Somebody put it in the building box. Here. Grandpa's looking at this. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Helen, I'm going to get you ready for the other two sitting there watching us. Trying to cut those. See, this is why pocket knives are so handy. What? You want to know why they call them a pocket knife? Why? Because you're supposed to keep it in your pocket. Oh, no. It's all the air getting out of that line. Help you out? Can you help us out a little bit, he said? No, I mean, I think you're doing a pretty dang good job. That done. <laughs> No, nope, we gotta finish spreading this whole bale. Look, we got this whole bale to spread. Over well, here, it's pretty. Like that, yeah, that's a good trick. I can't. Yeah, get two leaves and then bang them together. Watch, Dad will show you. He's a, he's a master. Sh oh, there you go. Just like that. It's the best way to spread straw right there. <laughs> Ben's method is throw it on the ground and then kick it around. Yeah, I bet you mine spreads it better. It's also better for people who don't have the energy of a six-year-old, too. He's running around, like, kicking it like a ball. No, we're going to feed her with her tin hair first. We're going to feed her first. We're gonna, we'll give her a little bit of grain first with her aloe pellets, and then we'll put her hay in here afterwards in the trough. Yeah. Hold on a second, we might need that to lure her in. All right, got her in. Hope is very upset. Yeah, I can see that. She's standing right there looking at us. Well, she usually gets fed first. Ah. Uh. Like, we probably need to put someone out here tonight to make sure that she didn't put a hit out on her. <laughs> Should we move Hope's trough up here and feed her under the awning? I can. Well, that way she's not We're trying not to get in tomorrow. here. Huh? We're not milking tomorrow, right? No, we're not. I was going to leave honey out because it's going to be like... Stay out of the rain. Yeah, I don't want them to have to stand in the rain. Oh, you know, you're gonna come out or what? I'm going to look her over. I'm trying to tell... I think she's still got some time, but I don't know. This is... It definitely looks different from yesterday, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for. I sent it to Bree... And Rebecca and Meg, and they all, they sent me some pictures and stuff to look for. And then Hannah as well. Oh, she's definitely close. Well, Helen. What You're do you think? loud to me. She's a pretty girl. Her udder's definitely looking a lot fuller and more tight. And Dad, I'm loud on the easy. Look. I don't know. She could probably fill that out a little more. She's like, what are you doing back there? Why are you spending so much time looking at me? <laughs> All right, Ben. You ready to go eat some beans and rice? No. How I stay home with Helen? <laughs> the first time really using our barn, Maya. Proud moment. It is a proud moment. Spent a lot of time in that little three-sided barn in Arkansas with birthing animals. Oh, this is so much better. 
don't know. What's it's a nice. really nice hotel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't stay in I don't know. <laughs> We're Holiday Inn folks. We're Holiday Inn Express, so. <laughs> Somebody knows. <laughs> Somebody knows a nice hotel. What? The Ritz, is that a whole nice one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What's up, you guys? Good morning. It's not morning. It's afternoon. But it is the next day. I am about to roll out some sourdough, and I wanted to update you guys and not leave you hanging. So I shot the footage last night, and I wanted to finish it. Um, we left Helen in her stall overnight, and she's still in there today. The temperature has dropped significantly um, throughout the day. I'm getting ready to roll out this sourdough. And um, we decided to leave her in the stall because it's supposed to start kind of icing and snowing a little bit. Wait, what? At, <laughs> Toby's in there. Our, our kids actually, their school canceled today because of the, the possibility of winter weather um, and not being able to get kids home. And also because the possibility of winter weather, we decided to just leave Helen in the stall. And I'm gonna take you guys out there in just a minute to check on her after I roll out these so you might notice this thing on the back of my neck i'm going to go ahead and explain that because i know it'll get a lot of questions i actually had to have like a lipoma tumor removed for this morning which it's not a big deal they are typically benign it wasn't huge but it was just on the back of my neck and i've had it for years but um it had gotten to the point that it was kind of causing some muscular issues i've had people ask me so many times why don't you wear your hair up more why don't you wear your hair up in the garden and it's because i've had this this thing on the back of my neck for years and it presses on that muscle and so i've never like for the last couple years wearing my hair up for an extended period of time i get headaches and so um finally dealt with it this has been a season for me of dealing with stuff like that with things that i maybe hadn't dealt with before because it was inconvenient and truly I think this is probably not just mamas but it's very easy when you're the mama and when you have people depending on you to not prioritize taking care of yourself and um, this has just been a conviction for me in this last season really since moving that I have to take care of me like I am important to take care of and it's actually loving my family to take care of myself. So that's why I'm getting stuff like this handled. So it wasn't a big deal to get that handled. It was a pretty minor procedure. Um, I was awake. I opted to be awake versus general anesthesia because I was more comfortable with that. I figured that after, I don't know, like 30 hours of tattooing, I could probably handle a, a procedure awake with local anesthesia. And it was, it was not bad. Um, I am a little uncomfortable now just because, I mean, it's just, I have stitches on the back of my neck. So I might be just a little bit limited for a few days on that while I kind of treat it gingerly and go a little easy on myself. All right, loaves are formed. I'm gonna cover this with a wet cloth and then we'll go outside. All right guys, I'm waiting on Maya. We're gonna go out. check on Helen again. She hadn't made any major progress. The last time we were out there we went out first thing this morning unsure what we would find i really didn't think she was going to go into labor last night that was more just like a i i slept better knowing that she was uh put up now i don't know i need to lay eyes on her again and see what the progress looks like hey, honey girl yeah. so much warmer in here hey mama hey mama Oh, okay. This is a little different. Okay, so Bree sent me a link that showed like what to look for here. And last night, I wasn't sure what I was looking at, but comparing right now to the picture of last night, I can see the difference here. So closer, no discharge. I don't think like the calves about to just come out or anything, but since we are going to our friend's house for dinner, and it's gonna be dark in a few hours, uh, and it's gonna just be getting steadily colder. I'm definitely leaving her in, even if she's mad at me about it. I saw Katie just like run past behind the trailer, and I thought it was a giant rat. <laughs> it just caught the movement out of the corner of my eye. Sinks when you have to do things for your animals that you know are the right decision, but they don't like it. Like, Honey isn't helping. 
Honey's not helping, no. Honey's sitting there mooing, and Helen is having some major FOMO that she's afraid she's missing out what's outside. But I think this is the right choice. Her, the, her ligaments are definitely looser. Now, here's the thing. Everybody's asked me, well, her ligaments will sink away and they'll be super soft. I don't really know what that feels like. Oh, good. I can see a marked difference from last night. That's the best I can say. But I, you know, it's my first calf, so I don't really know what it looks like. Now I can tell you when a goat's about to go into labor. <laughs> you know, I've, I've experienced that enough. But we're learning, we're learning here on this girl. And I'm just gonna err on the side of caution. Katie, what are you doing? <laughs> She's like, Maya, let me out. <laughs> she does love Maya. Can't do it, girl. <laughs> what you doing? What you think I got in here? What you think I got in here? Mm. Maya, when did you become such a cow whisperer? <sighs> I think it's genetics. <laughs> you got it or you don't. <laughs> Anybody can be a cow whisperer. I'm going to release a 12-step program how to get there. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm not. First, buy a cow. <laughs> well, then buy three more. They do not love me the way they love you. No. I think they can tell that I'm nervous sometimes because I still am a little nervous. They're so big. I mean, horses do that. Yeah, the, well, our horses, horses always... Horses feed off of emotional tension, like... I think you're just dominant, like, as a person. Yeah, that could be a part of it. You know. I'm not... That or it's that speaking cow, you're like Dory the fish speaking well, whale. Well, Wes one time was over here and he was mooing at Hope when she was in heat and she was like cocking her head. <laughs> Are you the man I'm looking for? I'm serious. And then she'd look away and he'd go, mm. I don't know. Wes kind of taught me how to talk to cows. Uh, See, right now, I just, this is such a learning experience for me. And this is one of those things that I could read everything and still not feel confident until I've walked through it with a cow. We're just going to have to do it. Like the way she's pacing. I mean, it seems like if it, it based off of what we've experienced with goats, it, it seems. could be that she's in early labor, but I don't know. She doesn't have any major discharge yet. So no. she could just be mad and want to be out in the, in the field that's true but she has everything she needs in there she has good she hay and water not like being put up in the corral either yeah so like i had actually left the chicken fence off because the chickens usually don't even challenge it they'll just stay and she fence. knocked it over she just charged right through it and pushed it over so then i had to turn it on and then she learned what an electric fence is for yeah bless her little heart it's okay girl i know it but hey our stalls yeah she didn't break it nice stall well, there's another cliffhanger for you guys. Still no calf. I mean, she's not even due till Sunday. Really, the only reason we're keeping her isolated right now is because the weather and just to eliminate risk. Yeah, it's pretty cold and, and wet. That's a bad combination. For yeah, she could go overdue. They can go up to two weeks overdue, but it'll be nice again on Sunday. We'll turn her back out in the field. Based off of what basic signs I can see. Yeah, Without I being think a cow expert, I don't think she goes two weeks overdue. No, I think it looks like her ligaments are loosening, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what it. I can't say. I can say it looks different than yesterday, and it looks different yesterday than it did well, the day before. Things we do know. Udder's filling up. Yeah, that's been Look changing. Look at this. Don't do it. She's gonna headbutt your camera. Yeah, honey was coming up and nudging the bottom, and then she reared her head down to like sling it up. I do love cows. But yes, the signs are there. She's getting closer. She's due Sunday. I'm so excited and nervous. I hope it's my little little heifer calf. It's supposed to be. I can finally use my cow name. I have been holding that name dear to my heart for years now. And you haven't told anyone? Oh, I mean, no, not really. It's been, you know. Oh, I thought you told everyone. Uh-uh. I guess it's a good thing I didn't blurt it out. Yeah, if you did, I would just edit it out. <gasps> You need some loving. <laughs> Alright guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with us late last night and today. That's the f I haven't put a video up on YouTube that I shot on my phone in a really long time. But that's what I had to do because it was raining and we were out here. Mm -hmm. Of course it's starting too, to rain heavier now. Too risky. 
yeah all right well thank you guys we bless you until next time <laughs>